Jews. And, uh, and of course, you know, she's a she's a Catholic fundamentalist wahoo. And uh, you, you put an atheist in there, I guarantee you, they would say, no, 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 no. Right. Hey, show's about ready to start. All right, I gotta go. I'll catch you later. All right. Welcome to the New American Heathen Redux. I'm your host, RJ Evans. Uh, some quick shout outs to my followers and friends over on Twitter and TikTok. On Twitter, the entire atheist list of followers, thanks to Sassy Heathen. Thank you, Sassy. You're awesome. Uh, been getting on that list and everybody's uh, following along and that's great. We appreciate it. All right. Uh, also, thanks to Don Kubler and Dr. Melissa Bird. Thank you very much for following us on Twitter. Appreciate it. Over on TikTok, everybody new and old. Yes, everybody. I said everybody. There are just too many people to thank by name. So uh, if you're over on TikTok, uh, all 730 some odd of you, I appreciate it. Really do. Keep pushing it. Keep pr promoting everything. We appreciate it. And your comments are welcome. I can, I can finally answer them now. All right, let's get to this. Here we go. If you're a soldier, past or present like I am, you understand that the title of soldier, whether it's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, or Coast Guard, required a great deal of physical and mental effort on your part to earn your respective services title. After that title was earned, your honor required you to uphold certain values, earning the respect of your military peers and that of the civilians you were charged with serving. You see, you earned that respect. You earned it. Now, since 9-11, the adoption of the Fascistic Patriot Act and the use of the Soviet-esque word homeland to describe our country, police departments across these divided states of America have become state and local government-sponsored pseudo-paramilitary outposts supported by a growing national authoritarian polit bureaucracy. Armed to the teeth with military-grade weaponry designed specifically for war, but without a military code of honor or anything like the military's rules of engagement, or, for that matter, international rules of war, men and women of the law enforcement community are now capable of waging war against the very people that they are supposed to protect and serve. Remember those three words, protect and serve. You see, with that capability, with the capability of weapons of war, law enforcement officers have the power now to instill fear in the populace and get away with flagrantly violating civil and human rights. Now, we've seen examples of this during some of the protests. Hearing the words, papers, please. Yeah, you heard me say that. Hearing the words, papers, please. What was once thought to be a relic of Soviet authoritarianism or Nazi Germany or any other fascist state-sponsored agency of terror has been replaced with a more innocuous sounding, can I see some ID? Yeah. Now, the results of, ref uh, of refusing to provide your papers is uh, pretty much the same, though. Refusal usually means being detained or arrested or tasered or, for that matter, even shot and killed. And the excuse the agencies of terror and their sponsors have come up with for using their unchecked and unregulated power is despicably despicable. Yes, I meant that. Despicably despicable. Now... Obey our every command and show us absolute respect. That's their excuse. Or more definitively, it's fear us, fear us, fear us. Respect? Nah, that's not what they want. They want fear. The real meaning of the word respect doesn't even show up in their revised dictatorial dictionary of dickless, dunderheaded douchebaggery. Respect is earned. Fear is forced. Respect takes time. Fear is immediate. No, no. The kind of respect being demanded by Republican, christ turd fascist, authoritarian, Jerpumpkin, Fuhrer-worshipping goons is best defined by the demand, a demand for respect that you get from, uh, say, mafia, biker gangs, you know, the one percenters or, or gods. It's, it's just simply kneel or die. Fear us, kneel or die. You know, respect doesn't come with ultimatums. It doesn't. It's earned. My way or the highway is a dark road leading away from democracy. Now, if you're a law enforcement officer, a Leo, and want respect for your thin blue line between lawfulness and violent chaos, maybe you, maybe you should remember where that expression came from. 
You see, over 160 years ago, the Scottish Highlanders held off a Russian cavalry charge with a thin red line. Now, if you aspire to that kind of respect, you had better show that kind of courage. If you aspire to a code of honor beyond the dishonorable blue wall of silence, you had better not become the rioters you imagine you are protecting us from. Do your part in our democratic republic. Resist the urge to infect and purge. Remember your duty to protect and serve. Have a comment or question? Email me at godlessbastard at americanheathenredux.com. And remember, hypocrisy always reveals the lies. Until next week, peace.